Did three cups today. Used Hydrovator on all three. The first one, the snakeskin, was two passes of uh, Hydrovator. Uh, it ended up looking really liquidy and I could see all the metallics floating on the surface. So I think I might have overactivated that a bit. The roll didn't go as well as planned. I need to increase my roll speed on that one. Uh, the second one is the reed. The reed pattern came out flawlessly. I'm pretty sure it was it was um, one pass of Hydrovator with the 1.8. And the third one is the Burlwood. And the Burlwood was a single pass of the 1.8 as well. Um, so both the, um, the reed and the Burlwood are very well behaved. They didn't wrinkle up. They sat on the water very nicely. There wasn't any decomposition or tearing. The the snake skin is a very unusual film. It's very plasticky, and it stays looking that way. So it's very—I can't tell if it's if it's um, been properly hydrated or not. The only thing I have to go on is the timer. I don't like the way that it that it goes on. I'm, I can see it being a very good film for flat surfaces, but as far as cups and things go, either I need to increase the roll and press it in more, into the film more, or it's just not capable of taking on that kind of stretch. I'll have to test it out some more. Um, I think next time I'm going to try the K2 brew and see if it, if it responds better. However, I did notice that the Hydrovator liquefied that film much better than the K2 Super Brew did. But again, that could also be application because the last time I tried this film was on the 1.4.